With lightning storms popping up all around the region tonight, we had a handful of games that were delayed and some that have been postponed until a later date. Let's take a look at some of those games that have been postponed and changed, including the matchup of undefeated teams Baldwin and West Nassau that has been rescheduled for October the 29th. Episcopal will play at Hilliard tomorrow morning. Mark Brunell's team will have to sleep on it tonight. Kickoff tomorrow at 11 a.m. Revolt and Paxton also postponed. Matchup of the two top teams in the News for Jack Super 10 also will have to wait as Lake City, Columbia, and Trinity Christian will play tomorrow at 6 p.m. And Ridgeview and Orange Park, that has also been rescheduled. That will be October the 1st, a 7 o'clock start for that one. Mentioned Columbia and Trinity Christian. We were looking forward to this one, but lightning in the area, 7.30 kickoff. Umbrellas were out and plentiful. Fans waited in hope for kickoff, but it never happened. Again, they'll play tomorrow at 6 p.m. Atlantic Coast and Lee also today trying to get things going. The pageantry there in Avondale, but again, lightning. Any game that was north or west of downtown was really in some jeopardy tonight. Patiently waiting, waiting for word. They finally, though, called it as uh, Lee will have to wait for another day to try to go for another one. Bulls is 2-2 two and two on the year with losses on the road at Rockledge and home against Trin uh, Trinity Christian. Still by the computer formula and the point system, Bulls was the top-rated team in their district coming into tonight's matchup at Windless West Side. This one not going to help the Bulldogs' strength of schedule that much. To the West Side we go. Bulls in the blue pants, West Side... Wearing red, second quarter, Bulldogs up 7-0, facing fourth and five of the west side 40. Bulldogs going for it. And Cooper Sullivan picks up six on the ground, first down Bulldog. Later in the drive, third and goal at the two. Kel McLeod around the left end for the score, makes it 15-0 Bulls. On the ensuing Bulldogs possession, a handoff to Sullivan, who hands it to McLeod. Camera guy gets lost. Oh, wait, there he is, and he's gone. 65 yards for the touchdown on the old double handoff play. 21-0 Bulls at that point. Bulldogs defense with a quick three and out. The big play, this sack by C.J. Grimes on second down. Bulls get the ball at midfield. Ben Netting, a quick toss to Chris Sanders, who steps away from a tackle, spins away from another defender. They cannot bring him down. He'll head to the other sideline. Sanders keeping the play alive and finally, with a first down, take it down to the 20-yard line. Next play. Wally Anasanya right up the gut. Pulls away at the 10, and he's in for the score. Bulls up 28-0 at half. Game called because of weather, and because it did get to halftime, it is a final. Bulls wins it 28 to nothing. Middleburg at Ed White. Middleburg in the green. White, uh, rather, Middleburg in the uh, green jerseys. Anthony Jones back for a senior night. More on his story in just a moment. Broncos facing third and five at the 35-yard line. Middleburg in the white. And it's uh, Ed White in the green. That makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, commanders stop and force the punt. White's first offensive play of the game. Isaiah Flowers takes the handoff, heads right, cuts it back, and he is gone. 80-yard touchdown. Commanders up 7-0, two minutes into the game. And that would be the last play before the lightning came. A halted play. And it is 7-0 uh, at this point, waiting to find out when that game will be resumed and taken back up. Yeah, we mentioned... Anthony Jones, exactly three months ago tonight, Jones was in a bad car crash that landed him in the hospital, broke both legs, broke both, uh, both broke hips as well. The tight end was laid up in bed for months after the accident, confined into a wheelchair until tonight when Jones, who head coach Kevin Sullivan of White just raised about, walked on senior night, and for the first time he was there to stand and support his teammates. Real big, you know, first down and got out of the house and about. Yeah, a long time, man. Undescribable. Real undescribable. Real long time. It's crazy. Since June 28th, I've been stuck in the house inside the shelter. I couldn't walk. Not, you know, I almost died, so it's kind of personal to me. So it really helps seeing them being happy to see me and being there to support them and let them know that I'm here with them. I'm not just at the house no more. I'm out here. I'm out here. Great story there. Bradford at University Christian, UC in the Navy. Bradford in the white. Most of Stark came up 3-0-1 to see their tornadoes. They were tied at 7 in the second when Adrian Siena goes deep and connects with Austin Lavelle for the big gain into UC territory. Four plays later, though, the Christians' defense forces a turnover on downs. Joseph Carter on fourth down, knocks it down, incomplete, and UC takes over. Ensuing UC possession, 
Ridge Jacobs back to pass. Tipped once, tipped twice, and picked off by the Tornadoes, Dante Balfour. Bradford with great field position at the UC 20. They would cash in on the turnover as Siena fumbles the snap on first and goal, but he gets in anyway. Gives Bradford a 14-7 lead late in the first half. Now with less than two minutes to go, the Tornadoes touch down again. Eric Smith around the right. Oh, sack instead here by Bradford. Defense getting, job, uh, getting the job done there. And it's Bradford going on for the 34-20 upset win on the road. And we've talked about Trinity Christian and Bulls, two more teams that are loaded in that uh, 5A district, playing a key mid-season game for Ponte Vedra and Bishop Kenny. This one could wind up determining who makes the playoffs and who does not. The highlights are coming up. But first, take a listen to the Crusaders taking the field tonight. We have to a chance to fail. We have to a chance to fail. A chance to equal strive. A chance to equal strive. A chance to do a dance. A chance to do a dance. If we shall win, we shall win. Let it be by the code. Let it be by the code. Faith and honor held high. Faith and honor held high. If we shall lose, we shall lose. Stand by the road. Let's stand by the road. The cheers, the winners go by. The cheers, the winners go by. We're dead bodies. 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 We're dead bodies.